Okay, here is a four ace effect. This is gonna be a four ace production. Um, and in this one, we are going to use spelling to find the aces, okay? So before we spell, we wanna make sure that the deck is randomly shuffled and mixed. So we'll give it just a few Greek shuffles like this. Let's go ahead and give it one more just to make sure everything's really mixed up. And we'll go ahead and give it a cut as well, like so. All right, now, to find the first ace, we're just gonna spell to it. Uh, so let's go for the ace of clubs. So we'll spell ace, A-C-E-O-F-C-L-U-B-S, ace of clubs. And there we get the ace of clubs. <clears throat> if you want, you can spell just the suit, um, like diamonds. Let's spell D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, and there we get the ace of diamonds. Um, you can also spell the suit and the value, and you can drop the of. Like, we could spell ace, A-C-E, um, omit the of, and then just spell spades, S-P-A-D-E-S, -E and we get the ace of spades. And then for the ace of hearts, we can spell anything, really. Um, in fact, let's spell anything, A-N-Y-T-H-I-N-G, and there we get the ace of hearts. And that one is called Anything Aces. It's by Paul Gordon. You can find that in Card Magic Companion, okay? Now, <clears throat> let's take this um, one step further, okay? And we're going to do the very first version of um, the Fabulous Four Aces. This one I learned from J.C. Wagner, okay? J.C. was a great bar magician, had some excellent effects, and here's one that I learned from him over 20 years ago. We'll take the Ace of Clubs and we're gonna lose it down into the pack. Okay, so the ace is lost. The next one we'll lose here will be the ace of hearts. We're gonna lose that guy in there. And then the ace of spades will cut into the pack. And then last but not least, we've got the ace of diamonds, which we're gonna also lose down into the deck. Okay, here we go. So if we just click, we should get one card to turn face up in the middle of the pack. And here you can see the card that turned face up is in fact a seven. It's the seven of spades, which is um, an indicator. It's telling me to count. You've probably heard of card counting. It's telling me to count seven cards. So if I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, it should lead us to an ace. And there we got the ace of clubs. If we take the ace of clubs and we put it in the pack face up and just give it a little rub, it's going to excite another ace and it causes the ace of hearts to turn face up in the middle of the pack. Okay. So you can see that there's no aces near the top. I also want to show you that there's no aces near the bottom. The aces really are lost somewhere in the middle. Now the next ace we're going to spell to, it can either be the ace of diamonds or the ace of spades. It's your choice. I'm just going to cut and whatever color I get, that's a, a red card, so we'll go for the diamonds. Let's say the spectator said um, ace of diamonds, so we'll spell that. A-C-E-O-F-D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, and we get the ace of diamonds. Okay, and if I was just one card high or one card low, you can see we would have missed. Now the last ace to go will be the ace of spades. All right, I'm going to dribble the cards to the table and you just say stop whenever you'd like. Let's say they say stop right there. Now do you want me to go up or down? It doesn't matter. Let's say they say down. So we'll go down to the seven of clubs. Now that is not an ace, but you'll find that right next door to the seven, we've got the ace of spades and that is the fourth and final ace. Um, and this one is called JC's Fabulous Four Aces. Um, I learned this off of his VHS tape, um, Commercial Magic, I think it's called, something like that. Um, it's one I've been doing for 20 years. Haven't done it as much probably the last 12 years, um, but it's one that um, it's kind of burned in my brain and I just kind of know it like riding a bike. So there you go, guys. A couple of ace ideas. Hope you like something there. Till next time, take care.